What up, everybody? This is Kyrie Irving, and I wanted to help you out. I'm with TarverAcademy.com, and I wanted to show you how to um, restrict student access in Google Classroom. Okay, so you're in your class. You're going to go to students. It's the middle one up here on the menu. See that little guy? See that little guy? Boom, hit students. It's going to show you all of your students in here. Over to the right, you can control in bulk the permissions of all the students in your class. Right now, all my students can post and comment. So they could post things to the feed and comment on things that people post. This is great for collaboration, commenting, discussions, etc. Now, let's say you don't want them to post. Say you want them to only be able to comment on stuff that you post. You're the only one that can post assignments or announcements or anything like that. Um, you would just put students can only comment. Now, you can also take it off to where they can't do anything. Say you can't trust any of your kids. They're all crazy. So the only teacher can post or comment. So you're really just delivering your information, and they're not really supposed to you know, converse or discuss on there. Um, I like this one because I think students aren't terrible. So did that, but I understand if you don't want to. That's, that's your prerogative. Okay. Um, also, you can restrict certain individual students. So like right here, let's say she is sketchy. That's how you email her. Say, boom, click that. What I can do is I can click her name or multiple names, click actions. I can remove her entirely from the class. I can email her or a group of people, or I can mute them where they can't say anything in the class. That way, everybody else can post and comment, but that kid lost privileges because they got in there and said a cuss word or were, were rude to another kid. I can prevent them. So there you go. And that's how you restrict student access in Google Classroom. Hope that helped. Please subscribe. Toodles.